Could tech stocks get absolutely massacred in 2024? I don't know. But after the massive growth they had last year, I wouldn't be surprised if tech stocks just didn't go up as much this year. And as always, I could be wrong and I wouldn't be that upset since a lot of my portfolio is in tech stocks. But 2024 is gonna be different. 2024 is the year that I personally focus on passive income and building out my dividend portfolio. So it got me thinking, what are some monthly dividend paying stocks that can bring in some monthly passive income? Let's take a look. Before I get into it, please hit the follow and leave a comment if you're so inclined. Preferably something nice. I get told them a bald, stupid, fat idiot. Way too much. And one more thing before we get started. Remember, most monthly dividend paying stocks are real estate investment trusts. So that's what we're going to be seeing a lot in this video. Up first is the SPHD Invesco High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. They'll give you 4.44% or $1.90 per year or around 17 cents per month. Up next is STAG and Industrial REIT. They have a dividend safety grade of B. They have a yield of 3.81%, $1.47 per year, or around 12 cents per month. And look at that, 11 years of dividend growth. Up next is Gladstone Capital. It's not a REIT, it is a bank. And they have a dividend safety grade of C-, which is not so great. But their dividend is 9% per year, which is around $1, or 8 cents per month. And they only have two years of dividend growth. Up next is Agree Realty. They are a retail REIT. They've got a dividend safety grade of B. An annual dividend around 4.71% or $2.96, which comes to around 25 cents per month. And before you say, you gross, retail, nobody goes to malls anymore. It's not. They specialize in a lot of properties like Costco, McDonald's, Wawa, even, yes, TJ Maxx. And just to give you an example of one that isn't so great, SLG specializes in offices. Ugh, nobody goes to the office anymore. And it shows they have a dividend safety grade of D+. Plus. And even though their dividend is 6.76%, $3 per year, 25 cents per month, they've cut their dividend 1.3% in the last five years. And before we get to the most popular one, which is, <laughs> I almost gave it away. We're going to go over some covered call ETFs. Now, covered call ETFs are great but they come with risk. Their dividend can change monthly based on market volatility, just so you know. Jeppy is probably the most popular one. It's got an 8.43% dividend, $4.62 per year, 43 cents per month. Another popular one is JEPQ. It pays a 10% dividend, $5 per year, 39 cents per month. And yes, all of the ETFs have fees. That's something you need to be aware of. Covered calls generally have higher fees. The last one and the most popular monthly dividend paying stock is Realty Income. We have a dividend safety grade of B, an annual dividend of 5.34%, $3.07 per year, 26 cents per month, and 26 years of dividend growth. We are definitely fans of monthly dividend stocks, as long as they're high quality. Which dividend paying companies am I buying in 2024? And is the Ford Motor Company one of them? A dividend safety grade of F? The answer is no. It's clickbait. I'm not buying any more Ford this year. Here's what I am considering buying. And remember, these videos are not financial advice. Just because your favorite and most handsome finance content creator is going out and buying a stock doesn't mean that it's right for your portfolio. You have to make your own decisions. Up first is Altria. It's a great dividend paying company, even if you might ethically disagree with what they do. They pay 9.35%. And while Dollar General might not have the greatest dividend, they have a dividend safety grade of A, and the stock went down over 40% last year, making it a great potential buying opportunity. Another stock I'm considering is Enbridge, which has a B minus dividend safety grade, and Enbridge has a very high dividend yield of 7.06%. Up next is the Schwab Dividend ETF. It's considered by many to be one of the greatest dividend ETFs on the market today. Over the last five years, Schwab's dividend is up 13%. Another high dividend stock I'm considering is Energy Transfer. Energy Transfer's dividend is almost 9%. For income, I'm planning on adding to QYLD or one of the many other covered call ETFs. I'm not necessarily worried that QYLD lags in performance compared to an S&P 500 index fund since I already own an S&P 500 index fund. I'm in QYLD for the income, which is almost 12%, although it could change. That's the nature of covered call ETFs. Most of the companies on this list have a dividend safety grade of B minus or above, so I'm not particularly worried about their safety. Let me know in the comments below what dividend stocks are on your wish list for 2024. Walgreens is cutting their dividend by 48%. Headlines like this are the reason that a lot of new investors shy away from picking individual companies to invest in, especially ones that pay dividends. There's just too much risk 
This is why a lot of new investors and experienced investors prefer dividend ETFs like SCHD or SPYD. Diversity of their holdings limits their risk. But I like buying individual stocks as a part of a diversified portfolio. They can offer much higher returns if you can stomach the risk. And if you can't, that's cool. Investing is personal. But everyone is so shocked about Walgreens. Oh, who could have seen Walgreens? Oh my God. I wasn't shocked. And here's why. I'm using Seeking Alpha for what I'm about to show you. There is an affiliate link in my bio if you're interested in trying it. And if you're not, no pressure. But on their factor grades over here, things aren't looking so hot. And we're going to click on dividends over here. Even though Walgreens has a big, fat, juicy dividend, or at least it did, it'll change when they cut their dividend, and 47 years of consistent dividend growth, Walgreens has a dividend safety grade of D. And according to Seeking Alpha's own website, 93% of stocks that cut their dividends had a dividend safety grade of C plus or lower. So is Walgreens alone in this? No, here are eight companies that could cut their dividend this year. Nike has a dividend safety grade of F. Ford has a dividend safety grade of F. Krispy Kreme, F. General Motors, F. GlaxoSmithKline, the pharmaceutical company, F. The Gap, F. Intercontinental Hotel Group, F. Even Honda Motor Company has a dividend safety grade of F. Even though I'm heavily building out my dividend portfolio for 2024, I'm definitely staying away from the ones who have a report card that looked like mine did in high school. If you want to know what dividend stocks I'm considering for 2024, let me know in the comments below because after Walgreens announced that they were slashing their dividend by 48% in 2024, everyone started freaking out. Which dividends are safe? What do I do? Ah, relax. There's a reason you're following me. He knew Walgreens was in trouble because of this. Walgreens had a dividend safety grade of D. And according to Seeking Alpha's own website, 93% of stocks that cut their dividends had a dividend safety grade of C plus or lower. Let's find some dividend paying companies with a dividend safety grade of A or higher. We're going to kick things off with John Deere with a dividend safety grade of A minus. Up next with an A minus safety grade as well is Hershey. MetLife also has a dividend safety grade of A minus. Pepsi also has a dividend safety grade of A minus. And look at that, 51 years of dividend growth. Stanley Black & Decker has a dividend safety grade of A minus and 55 years of dividend growth. Skyworks Solutions has a dividend safety grade of A. Dollar General also has a dividend safety grade of A. And then we get to the elusive A+. I think I only got one of these in high school, but JP Morgan has an A-plus dividend safety grade. Two Lake Capital Partners also has an A-plus dividend safety grade. And before I get to the last one, I think it's very important to remind you that dividend safety grades aren't everything. And just because some of these companies may be on my 2024 dividend wish list doesn't mean you should run out and buy them. If you're ready to see the last one on the list, I'm going to give you a clue. They have really cheap hot dogs. If you guessed Costco, you would be right. They have a dividend safety grade of A+, and they have 19 years of dividend growth. Smash that follow.